This is video you've just got to see. A car drives through a Metairie intersection, slams into another car, sending both vehicles into a neighbor's yard and crashes her vehicle while it sits in the driveway. Good evening, everyone. Shocking video there. I'm Sharice Gibson and I'm Katie Moore. That wreck happened on Saturday night right at the doorstep of that home. It happened on Kiwani and B Bissonette Drive. Our Mike McDaniel spoke with a homeowner who says this is not the first time a wreck happened there and wants something done about the dangerous intersection. It seems like it's like a movie, like it's not real, like it really there's no way that happened. It did happen right at the intersection of Kiwani Avenue and Bissonnet Drive in Metairie. That movie caught on surveillance video at Lorelei Bozeman's home. I felt it hit my house like he hit right there, right by the window and I freaked out. Separated by only a wall. This is what was happening outside Monday morning. Take a look at the top right of your screen. A truck speeds through a stop sign, smashing into an SUV. Both end up in Bozeman's front yard. Her SUV, parked out front, ends up upside down on her doorsteps. I was five minutes from walking out of my door and leaving for work. And I mean, even coming down my steps, I would have been crushed by my flipped car. After the crash, the man driving that truck gets out and walks away without even looking back. At this point, other drivers are stopping and neighbors are taking pictures of the man who caused the crash. Obviously has no regard for anyone's lives because um, he didn't even check on anybody. First responders had to use the jaws of life to rescue the woman who was trapped inside her SUV before taking her to the hospital. This isn't the first time a wreck like this has happened. Bozeman says these faint tire marks are from just two days ago when someone else ran that exact same stop sign, hitting another driver, also ending up in their yard. This is video from that night with emergency crews responding. According to the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office, there was even a crash here back in December. Bozeman says it's past time for something to be done. We need something here. I, I don't a four way stop, a, a, a light, something because somebody's going to get killed. In the three years she's lived here, Bozeman says she's seen about six wrecks and luckily no one has died. In reaching out to parish leaders about what happened, we were told crews would be going out to check signage and lighting. For Bozeman, current signage isn't helping. Every time I come out of my house now, I, I look around because I'm afraid there's going to be a wreck. There's going to be cars flying at you. It's just it's unnerving. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. Well, we reached out the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office tonight, and they say that driver that we showed you there is still at large. The other driver is still in the hospital.